welcome to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my daily makeup routine. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this video for a very long time, and finally the time has come. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So when I start off my makeup, I like to start with a bare face. So my face is already prepped and primed and ready to go. So the first thing I do is I get my mirror and my mirror is from Impressions Vanity. I love this mirror, it's the best thing ever. Impressions has the best mirrors and like vanities for makeup and everything. I'm obsessed with them. They are just so, so good. Okay, so I have my mirror here ready to go. So then I'll get a damp beauty blender and I'll get my foundation. So my foundation, I just started using a new one and I am totally obsessed with it. I think it works really well for me. So this is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. It is in the color 35. So what I do is I just put like a couple pumps on the back of my hand. I start off with a little and then if I need more, I'll just add some more. And then I'll just get my beauty blender and I'll just dip it in a little. And I'll just start putting little dots all around my face. So then once I have it in some places, I'll just start patting it into my face. Okay, so once my foundation is ready, uh, I will get my concealer and I use the Tarte Shape Tape right here and I am in the shade Light Medium. So let me just let you guys know from the beginning, this is an everyday makeup and when I do an everyday makeup, I do like super natural. I don't use like full coverage or anything. I won't like put on eyeshadow or anything like that. I'll just do like some really simple like makeup stuff. <laughs> I'll just do like really simple makeup looks just to make sure that like my face looks the same, just like maybe a little bit better, but yeah, just to let you guys know. So then I get my Tarte Shape Tape and I put it under my eyes, right like that. And then I'll get a little bit more and wherever I have like little like blemishes or like pimples or anything, I'll just like, I like to cover those up. So here by my nose I have something and then like here, sometimes on my forehead I have some like little like pimples and stuff. And yeah, just make sure to go all around your face, like double checking. And then get the beauty blender again, and then start blending it in. Okay, so then that is set. So this is the little makeup pouch that I use here. I just keep all of my everyday makeup. So after that, I'll start doing my eyebrows so I get everything ready. Okay, so I just took out all of my um, eyebrow product. So I just wanted to show you guys what I have. So the first thing that I have is this brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the color Caramel. And then I have the Brow Powder Duo, also from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the color Taupe. Taupe, I think I'm saying. I think that's how you say it. And then also from Benefit, I have the Gimme Brow. And I really like this because sometimes if, if I'm in a rush or like sometimes I have days like where my hands are really shaky. So this helps a lot because it's basically like the clear brow gel that keeps it in place but it's tinted. So I could just do that and it'll just tint my eyebrows like for the day. And it's just a lot, a lot, a lot easier for me for days where I'm not like as precise. So just depending on my mood, I'll do like whatever I want. So I think today I'm going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow. So it comes in this like little small container and then it comes with a little brow brush and it comes with your color. This is in the color 1 because I have very light eyebrows. And then you'll just start like passing it through the brows. So just like that, it's super easy because you start brushing it through the little brow hairs and it just tints them and it's the best thing ever. Like this is one of my favorite products. So once I'm done with brows, I will move on to mascara. So for mascara, I have my eyelash curler and I, I'm constantly changing mascaras but for today I will be using the Rimmel and this is the Shake It Fresh Clump Free Volume Mascara. So I'm just going to shake it. So then, I'll just curl my eyelashes, so, fun story, so when I used to dance, we had a show and we would always have to put on like really like, like heavy makeup, so one day my friend's mom was doing my makeup for me because like I couldn't do it, I was like six and like I wasn't a professional at makeup, I'm still not a professional at makeup, like trust me, so she was curling my eyelashes 
and once she was doing it and the little like thing it got caught in the skin of like my eyelid and when she pressed it it like pinched it and I didn't know like what was going on because it had never happened to me and then like it hurt so bad like I didn't cry or anything but like my eye got super watery like all my mascaras are like drippy she's like what's wrong I'm like nothing I'm just like I think you pinched my eyelid and it was just like really really bad so that's a fun story that I like to tell so I just make sure that it's curled really well and then shake it a little more and start putting on mascara I have fake eyelashes but I've never tried and I'm too scared to try to put on fake eyelashes maybe I'll do it one day maybe I'll like, start practicing that and then hopefully I can get good at it and start wearing fake like, eyelashes because um, my eyelashes are really small but also what I really like doing is getting eyelash extensions um, I've done that a lot throughout the years and it's like the best thing ever because they're like naturally curled and they're super dark so you wake up and it looks like you're wearing mascara but like you're actually not so yeah I just do my mascara like that the hardest thing is to do my left eye because for some reason my left eye doesn't curl as well as my right eye so it takes me a while to get like the angle right and then I have to like go I have to like keep like switching angles because I have to get like the end and then I have to get the middle like I don't know it's just it's very hard to do so the last thing that I do is I get this lip gloss that I got at Beautycon this is a Sephora um, gel gloss ultra shine lip gel and let's see what color this is in it says number four perfect nude so I really like this because as it says it's a perfect nude color it's just like it's like a clear gloss kind of so I just take it out and I'll just put it on my lips. So that is the end for this makeup look. Like I said, it's just going to be super simple and like basic. It's not going to be that like hardcore, like those like super colorful eyes or anything. This is just like a basic look. I don't contour or highlight or do anything like that like for a daily makeup look. Sometimes if I go to a party or like an event or something, I'll like kind of do the same thing, but I'll put a little color in my eyes. I'll do some contour highlight, like I'll go a little bit more. But like I said before, I'm not a makeup professional. I am still practicing. I I still need a lot of practice. I need to start taking classes and everything. I watch a ton of YouTube tutorials. And so yeah, so this is what I do. And so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and click that little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. And comment down below what you guys do for your makeup daily routine or, or like if you wear makeup. If you don't wear makeup, then if you want to wear makeup, then comment that down below. And so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!